But I want to jump to the NFC South. There's a, a few things going on in the NFC South. One of your former teammates that you know, Matthew Judon, was with mm. the Patriots, got traded to the Falcons. They also signed Simmons. Their defense is looking really good, but he's another person. Played well, getting older, coming off an injury. Still had four sacks, but coming off an injury, but looking for his money. Yeah, so let's get into it. First of all, we got to play in the preseason game. I didn't personally, but yeah, yeah. we ended up winning. My guy right. T-Rob had a yeah, yeah. game-saving two-point conversion tackle. So that that was awesome to see. It's awesome to win and be around a group of rookies that well, that was their first game winning, so that was fun. Um, jo Josh Johnson was 11 for 11. He had a good game. It was exciting Playing to Josh, see Josh, he was with his me old Tampa. ass. I think he's 40, just still hooping. Josh still balling, um, man. I'm telling you, backup quarterbacks, they valuable, <laughs> man. Josh just, he's, he's staying around, man. Yeah, and our young little wide receiver, Wade, is having himself a little a little preseason. He had, a, yeah. he had him with a double move. Ah! And then caught a nice Baltimore touchdown. Baltimore be killing so it, was, it in the preseason. Oh, man. It, <laughs> yeah, it was busy awesome in the preseason. Yeah. But it's cool. I actually had dinner with Judon. And, you know, I, I love Judon. I'm not going to say anything too personal. But I know he wants to get paid. Yeah. Uh, I think that was the biggest reason for him leaving New England. He wanted to get paid. He didn't feel like New England was going to do it or he didn't like how they were going about it. I know they ended up sending him a contract. I know he said that, but I believe it was more incentive based and he didn't like that. So I'm interested to see Atlanta. I know he hasn't got a contract. I know that they're probably trying to pay um, a couple other people down there that need to get contracts. But for him, I know he feels like he's wanted there. They Draft, they traded him for a third round pick. And I also know he also had Chicago on the table. So, you know, it, I, it's awesome that he got to pick where he wanted to go. He yeah. felt like Atlanta was the place to be. I gave him a couple spots because I love food. Right, I gave right, him right. a shout out to go to Umi. That's in Buckhead. So anybody that's watching, if you want a good, good sushi, it's called Umi, U-M-I, it's in Buckhead, very, very good. But I know Judon wants to get paid, but I also want to talk about something, too, from the Falcons that some people may have glossed over. It's got to be about Michael Penix. I didn't see him in the game. I was yes. actually looking forward to seeing him, but it was reports that Raheem Morris came out and said, we've seen enough. We're good. We see what he's got. Now, to me, that seems a little like, huh? Like you had you drafted a QB high. He's not right. gonna play in the regular season. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. But are they hiding him from us? Do you think he's hiding? You know, are the coach and the organization is hiding uh Michael Penix from the fans and to see his game? Or what what's going on with that? I play for Raheem Morris and he's very calculated. He is a straight shooter, but he's very calculated. Me personally, I think they've seen what they want from him. And with signing Kirk Cousins with all that money, and then Kirk coming out and saying, that's not what they said to me. But yes, it was extremely shocking that they paid me all that money, said I was their guy, and then went and drafted a quarterback. And then for Michael Penix to play how he's been playing – and the head coach to say, we've seen all we need to see. We good. I think he knows that if they let him go back out there and he balls, now you getting a lot of, wait, hold up now. Wait yeah. a minute. Wait a minute. Are we sure Kurt is the guy? Yeah. And, I think and it also goes back to that conversation we had earlier about the Daniel Jones thing and yeah. having the organization being behind you, you know? Yeah, and you don't want a you don't want any distractions. This, I think it's already going to be there the whole year, though. Yeah, he was drafted too high for it not to be. And then if Kurt has any type of slip up, Kurt plays a half a bad game or whatever. Oh, is it is it Penix time? Is it is it? Yeah. Should we put him in? I mean, they drafted him. Should it be this? Should it be that? So I. I do think Raheem is very calculated, but I and think Kirk just, was hooping before he got injured too, yeah, man. Yeah, he was. He was. And I and I think that's why they signed him. And 
I, I personally feel that they're trying to avoid all as much of the nonsense as they can because as painful as this is to say, I don't think it's going to happen because I'm a buck and I'm biased. Atlanta has a great shot to win that division with all of the talent they have on that team. So they don't they need to eliminate any distractions. Raheem Morris, I've been calling for him to be a head coach for a long time. I hate it he came to the NFC South because now I got to root <laughs> against you. But he's going to have that team on the right track. And I'm interested. He's going to get his get back back yeah. from the Bucs, bro. <laughs> At NFC South, we go. I'm, <laughs> we talk about the Bucs. We're not going to say much about the Saints. We just mentioned Atlanta. Carolina Panthers. Bryce Young. I'm a straight shooter. I'm going to say it how I feel. Y'all were terrible last year. Terrible. Killer's still playing. He can't say this. I can. Y'all were terrible last year. So t- if y'all want to clip this and say who said what on the McCoy and Matt Noy show, <laughs> Gerald said that the Carolina Panthers were terrible last year. Bryce Young, you didn't play well, son. You didn't play well. Dave Canales, I love what you did with my Bucks. I love how you showed the world that Baker Mayfield still can ball. You took what his skill set was and you let it shine. So hiring you in Carolina was the right hire. It was because Bryce Young is talented. He's in the same mold of a Baker Mayfield, a Heisman Trophy winner, smaller guy, can move around, can make all the throws, can make plays with his feet. But he's just in his second year. And he ain't C.J. Stroud. Mm. So why ain't he played yet? Yeah, the I, I think he needs reps, more football reps is too. To play football. It is extremely difficult to get better at football when you don't play. It's Especially not like, live reps, though. Yes, it's not like we've seen him light it up. An example, yeah. the Raiders. They're one of the only teams who didn't do joint practices. So that's why we've been seeing the starting defense play in these preseason games because they need to get live bullets versus other teams. Mm. Why is this guy not getting it? It's, you can attest to this. There's a bunch of different speeds. There's OTAs. There's mini camp. There's training camp, joint practice. Preseason game one, two, and three, and then opening day, and then the speed just changes depending on the point of the year. Yeah. Practice, Playoff speed. That's what I'm saying. Practice is not the speed of a preseason game. It all it all picks up. It okay, so you're gonna take faster. practice reps and then go straight to opening week and expect him to play against another team and improve with no preseason reps. I just I don't understand it, but hey, that's whatever. They gonna do it how they gonna do it. <laughs>